is the chronicity of illness is getting worse. Uh, we are seeing less and less people with heart attacks, but we are seeing more and more people with chronic illness of congestive heart failure, patients who are having continuous symptoms of chest pain, because we are saving those patients who used to have a heart attack. We are able to intervene and save them, but now we are ending up with problems where the heart muscle is weakened because of the damage that has been done. Twenty years ago, those patients would not have lived, but with modern medication, we are able to keep them alive. And now we are reaching the next stage. The stage is we've already maximized our medical management. So what do we do next for our patients? Patients who are in their 80s, their brain is still functioning, they, are, they, are, they want to be active, but they are limited by their uh, cardiac condition or their medical condition. And so we were looking for alternatives. In 1999, when I was sitting for my interventional boards, at that time, I was reading a, a bunch of articles, and I came across articles on allogeny. And I said, wait a minute, this is a drug that converts into nitric oxide, and that is the drug that we give a sublingual nitroglycerin that also converts into nitric oxide. What a novel idea, where you do not have so-called tachyphylaxis or tolerance to the drug, but now we can give this nutritional supplement in very high quantities and, and high uh, uh, frequency that will mimic nitroglycerin without all the side effects.